Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about how you can export pre-trained and also custom trained ULV8 model. So yeah, we're basically just going to take a model, we're going to export it to OpenVINO, then we're going to see the performance increase that we actually get or the inference speed. So we will actually be able to speed up our model significantly if we have an Intel based system. So that could either be like uh, an Intel CPU, an Intel GPU and so on. But we're going to see that in this video, I'm going to run it on an Intel CPU. So you can also do it on the GPU, but you will see the performance increase that you will get even on the cpu so you can actually like get up to 3x cpu speed up basically just by calling a single line of code it will export the model and then we just need to open it up with the ultralytics framework so let's just jump straight into ultralytics documentation we're going to take a look at this open vino so we can also like integrate it with roboflow and raytune but right now we're going to cover open vino so yeah first of all we just have like this chart or like this figure that shows us we can basically just convert whatever model or eat all these different formats. So we have TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe, ONNX, and so on. Right now, we're basically going to take a PyTorch model, convert it to ONNX, and then once we have it in ONNX, we're going to convert it and optimize the performance with the OpenVINO uh, framework, and then we're going to run it on an Intel CPU on Windows. So yeah, we have this export mode here with YOLO V8. We're basically just going to call a single function as we're going to see in just a second. And then we can get up to a 3x CPU speed up just by actually like doing this. So if you have an Intel's Intel based system, you should definitely do this in your own applications and projects. Like you will get a ton of performance just by doing that. So here we can see that we actually have a usage example. This is what we're going to use in just a second. So let's just go in and copy paste it. We can see we have some different argument values here. We have the format, so we're going to use OpenVINO. We can also specify uh, the image size and also half position. So right now we're just going to use like floating point 16 quantization instead of like having 32 bits and so on. They might support act like better quantization or like lower quantization at some point. So let's now just jump straight down to the OpenVINO YOLOV8 benchmark. Those are some of the cooler things. So right now they're benchmarking it on an Intel Flex GPU. So let's just take a look at it here. We have the yellow one is the open Vino. We can just see like this is a significantly upgrade or like a significant speed up compared to running it just on ONNX, but also PyTorch and Torch script. Here we're going to run this on an Intel Core CPU. So let's go down and, go down and take a look at that benchmark. And we can see that we actually like get pretty good performance, um, especially like with the larger models here. So let's now go up and copy paste this user example. Let's go into our code and see how we can use it. So first of all here, we, we import from Autolytics, we import the YOLO class. We can create an instance of that. We can just directly specify it as we've done in the previous videos. So definitely make sure that you check those videos out um, where we go over object detection, segmentation, post estimation, like how you can train your own custom YOLO 8 model, use it in your own project. We even created like a security project around the YOLO 8 model where we're sending emails if you want to give an alert, if people are actually like present in the frame. So that was actually like a pretty cool project. Make sure to check that out. Then we can go in and export the model. So the only thing that we need to do is call this export method. We need to choose the format. We're going to use the open Vino format. And then we can just create a new instance of our YOLO model with that format. And we can have our open Vino model. Let's just go in and actually just create the results. So right now we're just going to pass an image through our OV model, but let's also have some results for the standard PyTorch model. So here we're just going to have results um, original. And that will be equal to our um, standard model here and then we can just pass the exact same image through that there we go and here we're going to call results underscore ov for open vino okay so before we can actually go in and run our program we need to open up a new terminal so i'm just going to do that make sure that you're actually using a lower version than python 3.11 i couldn't get it to work on python 3.11 i could on 0.9 and 0.10 but let's just go down and choose uh, 3.8 so we're going to open a new terminal with that. First of all, we need to pip install Ultralytics. So pip install Ultralytics. I already have that on my computer. And then we also need to pip install ONNX if you don't already have that on your computer. So again, and then the last dependency that we need is act like open Vino. There we go. And now we should have all the dependencies ready to go. We should be able to run the program and it will do everything for us. 
So first of all here we can see that it loads in the model. We're going to get a summary of our YOLO V8 nano model. We can see the parameters, the number of layers. We can see that we're using CPU with Torch. Um, we can also see the GPU, CPU we're running it on. And then we can see we start the export with ONNX. So first of all, again, I mentioned we're converting from PyTorch to ONNX. And then after that, we convert it to OpenVINO. So after we have converted it to ONNX, it is basically just going to like export it to OpenVINO. We can now see it exported successfully. It took around like one second. So let's go down and take a look at our inference results. For the first one here, this is our open Vino model. We can see the speed. First of all, we are detecting four persons and one bus. It takes um, 21 milliseconds. So this is for our open Vino model. Three milliseconds for pre-processing, 21 milliseconds for inference, two milliseconds for post-processing, and we can also see the image shape. Then the second one here is for our original model. So this is basically just our part search model that we loaded in up here. So first of all, we have detected four persons, one boss, one stop sign. So here we actually get an additional class detected that we didn't get with the original model or like with the open window model. So it's now going to take a look at the image. So this is actually like the image that we are passing it through. So it acts like it detects the stop sign up here in the top left corner um, with the original model. So I'm not really sure you have to like test that out and act like see what confidence score it gets. It is act like a correct prediction here with um, with the traffic sign. So here we see we're detecting a bus, four persons, and a stop sign. So this is act like correct prediction. So down here, let's take a look at the speed and fair speed. Two milliseconds pre-processing, a bit faster. Doesn't really even like matter too much. Um, so yeah, we have 66 milliseconds inference, one milliseconds post-processing. So again, we can see we have 21 milliseconds inference for our open Vino model and 66 milliseconds inference for our original model. So this is a 3x speed up by using this open Vino framework. So this is kind of like the results that you can expect by just calling this single uh, function or like this single method on your model. You can also export it to all other different types of frameworks like TensRT, uh, we have the open window here now. You can also just use ONNX directly, Torch script and so on. So that's it for the video here, guys. I hope you learned a ton. I hope you have, I've opened up the eyes for the possibility of actually like exporting your models to different formats and also different frameworks. So you can optimize it, so you can speed up your models significantly without doing anything if you're using the YOLO V8 model and just calling the export function. So thank you guys for watching this video here again. Make sure to check the other videos out in this tutorial and this playlist where we go over like all of it from Autolytics and YOLO V8, how we can use object detection, object segmentation, training on your own custom data set, post estimation, some cool projects, Autolytics hop and so on. So we're covering everything. Make sure to check those out. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.